Hello, everybody. Today is Wednesday, December 20th. It's 2.08 p.m., almost 2.09. On my left is the time and sales showing the E-mini S&P trading at 2685.50, and there's no doubt we're going to hit 2700. And as I've stated before, and the financial markets probably close, uh, have a strong close for the year, closing on its highs. We have a great video for you today. I managed to add a couple of more charts that we were following. And again, the DAX continues to impress. First up is the DAX on 150 tick hike and ashy chart. And this, I believe this hit its goal for the day. Let's take a look. This is the template here. And then our goal was 2550. So we probably hit our goal and then had uh, some slippage of about $100. Anyway, this was the first couple of trades here. And if I scroll down the charts, we'll see how this played out. We had a loser here that drew us down a little bit. And then we came up and then final trade here brought us to our goal. If I tighten up the chart like so, we can see the full equity curve. So we started off with a little bit of a drawdown. Uh, for the DAX, not that much, only about $400, so that was a pretty small loser. Actually, take that back. We we ran up to an equity high of $1,552. Then we drew down to $500. So we drew down 1000 from our equity high. Again, the volatility in the, in the DAX. And then we ran up to our goal. So again, uh, impressive on the DAX. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 7 tick. And this was pretty active today. You can see uh, we went sideways for most of the day and drew down some. And then uh, this is only about an hour and a half after the open. Or an hour after the open, we, we began to climb to the upside here. And then did uh, 1462 and our goal on this, here's our template, and then our goal is 1500. So we obviously hit our goal and then we had some slippage here. Okay, next up is the DAX on 150 tick line break chart. And this hit its goal on a single trade here. Obviously there was quite a bit more to go. Um, what happened today in the DAX is I turned the auto trader on uh, kind of late, so I actually missed this first sell-off here. Uh, this was quite a move, so I believe we could have had better performance. Um, some of the other DAX charts might have even hit their goals because we started off here at uh, right about 3 o'clock. The DAX sold off and then rebounded strongly. So we had some really good moves. And so, yeah, I did start the auto trader about 30 minutes after the London Open. So in spite of that, we still did good on several charts. This one did 1450. We only have a goal here of 1500. So obviously uh, could have done much more on this chart, but still very good. And this doesn't look like much to hit its goal of 1450, but that's the DAX. Okay, next up is the bonds on a 150 tick Hike and Ashy chart. This did 937.50 for the day on about four trades. We had three winners and one loser right here. So pretty good on this chart. Uh, our daily goal on this one is a, only a thousand dollars. So hit our goal with some slippage there. Okay, it seems to be a lot about line break charts today. This is a line break chart that we've seen quite a bit, and that's the E mini S and P on a 987 tick line break chart. This is trading three contracts, so 1237.50 for the day. And here's our trades. We came up, made an equity high of over a thousand, then we drew down to about 400, and then came back to a new equity high, and that was it for the day. Our goal on this is 
1300, so we probably had some slippage. Okay, the Dow on a uh, 500 tick Heike and Ashi chart did really well today. A thousand dollars. Our goal is a uh, thousand, and this is something new. So uh, this is the template I use. So I actually need to re rename this, and I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I renamed that template, and if any of you want these, uh, shoot me an email. I will post the most recent templates to our uh, download site. Okay, we have a few open positions. This is the crude oil on a uh, 377 tick line break chart, and this is currently open position here. There was a small winner here and a small loser and actually uh, we drew down on uh, trade here not very much only about fifty dollars so as you can see here we have uh, an open position of about 260 on two contracts and once again a line break chart so on this we used our uh, news filter so if you check the box here for a news event the auto trader will stop trading uh, before the news event, in this case, two minutes before the news event, it exited any open positions, and then it started trading one minute after the news. And so we have that filter built into the auto trader. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a 1597 tick Heiken Ashi chart, and I had looked at this earlier and we had an equity high of over seven hundred dollars and then we drew down uh, almost to zero and then we gained some back here so uh, right now it's sitting at 350 and there's still an hour or so left in trading hour and a half okay we have another uh, open position in the crude the closed PL of 120 and an open PL 140. This gray area, this is where we uh, exited uh, the trade from the news, and then we started trading again here. And you can see uh, the exit was right at 1030, and then a few minutes later we started trading again. So this is where we exited the position and then began trading again using our news filter. Okay, I'm trying to find some good settings on the Russell. This is a 233 tick Heike and Ashi chart. And we had a short trade that should have had a little bit more, but uh, it reversed here. Anyway, we have a closed PL of $40 and an open PL of $440 on two contracts. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, fairly decent on this chart. Okay, the E-mini S&P on, on the Superenco 6-tick chart. Using this template here, and we have a goal of $1,000, so we obviously hit our goal. We had a tick or two of slippage. And uh, this did quite well here. Really nice trade. A very small loser here. Only drew down $175 or so and then came back with a really solid winner. Okay, the NASDAQ today started off strong. We had an equity high of about $900, and then we ran into some chop here and gave back most of it, and then came back up to about $800 and then got dragged down with a couple of losers here, so only $300 open PL on the NASDAQ. There's something to be said for limiting uh, trading hours to the best part of the day, for example, 9.30 to noon or 9.30 to 11. This, this could have been less here, or simply having a lower, a lower goal for the day. 
Okay, the mid cap on the Superinco 14 tick had three trades, a loser, and a couple of winners here, and did 680 so far. And then finally, I tried the Russell on a uh, Superinco 2 tick chart with a higher time frame, and this has a modest gain of about $300 as it sits. That's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or send me an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.